Hi everyone. So today I promised that I was going to talk about search engines, but first I just want to give you an introduction to search engines. Um, I just want you to understand what a search engine is and how it works, and that will help you uh, to determine what search engine optimization features or functionality you really need to consider for a micro or small business because really uh, search engines and search engine optimization can vary quite a lot. So let's go into it and just go on about what is a search engine. So a search engine is essentially the name given to any activity of indexing pages available on the world wide web. Now what does that mean? It means it's really any automated software or manual software that uh, discovers pages and then indexes them so that they can be matched with uh, search uh, search uh, phrases later on. Um, now what is the World Wide Web? Some people get confused with what's the World Wide Web compared to the Internet. Well, the World Wide Web is all the information available for public use on the Internet. So you might have... You'll hear of the dark web and whatever and whatever. Well, that is really comes down to uh, information that's not available for the public or for search engines to necessarily crawl and index pages from. So there's a whole bunch of information out there that's not available to the public. That's still part of the World Wide Web. So the information on the web is distributed between many little or big servers. Uh, essentially, it means that information on the World Wide Web is distributed. It's not found in one place, although search engine companies like Google do keep uh, copies of the pages that they crawl um, and backups and uh, archives, even if a page uh, all of a sudden disappears and doesn't exist anymore available for search, Google will have a copy of it if it's ever searched it, crawled it. So you may find, if, you know, if you have a web host, that is a server. That is where your information sits and a search engine comes along and finds it. It's good to mention now that there's a few search engines out there. Quite a few small ones, little ones. Some of them are um, uh, specific to categories or contents that you know optimize or optimize the search for specific industries. Maybe like, I don't know if there's a cooking one or a jobs one. Um, so, uh, yeah, the information can be located anywhere around the world, and anywhere that there's a computer that has a connection to the internet and has a domain name and where a website or a web page or any information is put on there that's available to be read to the public or served to the public will be part of what a search engine sees and crawls. Yeah, as I mentioned, it's made available through website addresses. Each page on the internet has a different name. Um, it doesn't have a different IP address. Why did I put that there? Uh, um, the main domain has a, uh, an IP address, but essentially each page on the internet has its own addressable search. Okay. A search engine goes around discovering all of the information and organizing it in a way people and some software or a lot of software can find easily. Once a search engine finds a web page, it tries to find all the links related to that web page, including the top tier domain name, i.e. the main website name, as well as all the other pages related to that main domain. So essentially, a search engine goes around, finds a web page, uh, find some links, says, oh, there's another web page, there's another website, I'll go and see what that's about. And while it does this, it indexes and keeps a track of every single address that it's been to. And like I said, it can keep a, uh, it will keep a copy, usually, of the page and its content as it is on that date. Uh, and puts it aside or crawls it for information to categorize it so they can serve it to somebody who later wants to search. So once it's done that, it's gone, oh, there's another page and there's another page and I can go on and go on and go on and go on. It tries to understand the content of your web page. And this is where search engine optimization comes in. 
It's understanding the content on your page and how to index it. How to put it into perspective so that when someone comes in and uses natural language in a search box and says, I'm looking for this or I'm looking for that, uh, the web, the search engine can serve you one of the pages that they found with that content. And this is where the optimization comes in. Search engines are notoriously bad for understanding <laughs> what people are looking for because they don't understand natural language. They understand just information. And this is a main um, difference between... Um, okay, so here we go, the next page. <laughs> So the search engine's main functionality is to index and serve relevant content. Um, and it does that for every single page. Now, I'm not sure what the current number of pages are, but I know it's in the billions and billions, of, or billions anyway, by Google. Um, every page that ever crawled since it started, yeah, there's a copy of it somewhere on the servers archived, whether that web page or web domain or content exists or it's changed. So... If over 10 years a website's undergone several developments and it's had thousands and thousands of changes, then you, Google has that archive somewhere. And they don't use that necessarily for uh, search, to uh, return search back to you, but they do use it for other things like uh, determining customers and, you know, just a whole bunch of things to do with artificial intelligence mainly and um, improving their search engine. English is still the most dominant internet language, around 27% of pages being in English. After that, it's Chinese or Mandarin. And um, then after that, it's just a, a very, uh, that's again, the, the Mandarin's at about 26% of pages are in that. Google doesn't index that because I don't think Google's allowed into China yet. But they have their own search engine, which is... I do, or is that the Indian one? I'm not sure which one it is, but they both have their own search engines and they all operate pretty much in the same way. So a search engine's job, essentially, is to find the information and then try and understand the information so that when you ask for it, they uh, can... Wait, I didn't finish writing. So that they the search engine can uh, find it. So search engines don't respond very well to natural languages. Um, what they do is they rely on passing out regular, what's called regular expressions in computer science, which means they take your phrase, whatever phrase you've got, like how do I do this, what is this, or just whatever. Most searches consist of at least two or three words. If you just put one word in, you're not likely to get very much relevant results back. So really, uh, what search engines are becoming more and more adept at is understanding really, really complex queries, uh, such as um, how do I, uh, tell me all about search engine optimization, or how do I uh, best uh, use a search engine. So it looks for what you want, keywords like what, how, what, and those are called regular expressions. They all get passed, they all get individually looked at. Yeah, when the search engine looks at your content, it does look at the very basic uh, unit of uh, communications which is a word and then puts it all together tries to understand what you're trying to ask and then looks on the index pages that it's crawled and it's gathered information from and that it's read through and find out uh, what best uh, page might actually uh, meet your requirements and it does that by looking at keywords um, what's called keyword uh, concentrations. So the more keywords of the same kind you look, the more likely you are to be found under that search result. So if I use the word SEO a lot in my text on the one page, remember it takes one page into, into account, takes whatever the content in that page is as the relevance. Uh, so uh, yeah, really uh, search engines, what they do is they look at individual words and put them together in a way to be able to find what you are looking for and that's a very difficult task to do and it's very hard to do it very fast that's why search engine search engine optimization matters a lot so to find out more about search engine optimization look at the search engine optimization video